Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Prosper Tetido in the United Kingdom. I would like to present to you a brief outline on this masterclass in psychiatry on post-traumatic stress disorder, what we call PTSD. It's a very common condition. And I'll outline the following, trauma, avoidance, autonomic symptoms, emotional symptoms, social symptoms, personality features, comorbidity or other medical conditions, and expectations, and management, finally, of this condition. PTSD is post-traumatic, so trauma is important. There may be a catastrophic trauma with respect to that person, which the person may have gone for. So one always needs to have a history of a trauma, a major trauma in that person's life. Some may have experienced domestic or in the front line with the military, etc. And what happens is there's a reliving of that trauma in a form of intrusive memories which can cause nightmares and that leads to avoidance of activities and situations reminding the person of that trauma and the person may present with what we call autonomic hyper arousal where the person is on edge even when the door closes in a certain way it reminds them they sort of become jumpy and leads to insomnia or lack of sleep, especially at night. This autonomic hyper arousal can also lead to irritability and anger outbursts and concentration problems, and also hyper vigilance and startle reaction. Another association is emotional blunting where the person doesn't seem to be reacting to the emotion, the situations around in the environment or there's this numbness of the emotions there's also impaired social function where the person withdraw from social usual social activities and personality is important what we call pre-morbid personality how was this person before this trauma happened in their lives? And there are comorbid conditions, which are example, depression, may coexist with PTSD, anxiety, and substance misuse, either as a form of trying to numb those symptoms or problems and somatization. And insight and expectation is important to find out whether the person understands what he or she is going through. And we come to management. Management, according to the NICE guideline, National Institute of Clinical Excellence, there are various steps. Three steps, briefly. Step one is when there are mild symptoms, which are defined as less than four weeks, the management is wait and follow up the person in a month. The second step is when the symptoms are less than three months and the management is cognitive behavior therapy, of which is trauma-focused trauma cognitive behavior therapy and also antidepressants may be prescribed and hypnotics may also be prescribed. The step number three is when symptoms have been there for more than three months. And CBT, which is trauma focus, or what is called EMDR, and which is for 90 minutes when discussing the trauma. And this is a specialized area in psychology. 
So this is the end of this presentation. And I wish you all the best in your careers. Thank you.